Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video all about our composting toilet and shower combination cabin that we have been building over the last month. It's been an incredible process and the inside is really starting to come together. It's very windy today, you can probably hear the wind outside because I got the door open. That is why I'm actually sitting on the toilet. So here is the toilet, not exactly finished but it is a start. This is obviously the frame of the toilet and I built it out of very thick timber so it doesn't wobble, it doesn't move, which I guess you want when you're sitting on the toilet, you don't want it to move. So it's very sturdy. Also, I've started laying the tongue and groove wooden flooring and I really love the contrast between this light and this darker palette style wood. It looks really nice. Also, I put some treated plywood underneath the toilet so if any spillage or leakage happens from the toilet, which I'm hoping it doesn't, but you always have to make sure in these, uh, in these cases, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna silicon all around the edge, therefore it's nice and sealed and nothing can seep into the wood below. So the composting toilet will be vented, definitely will be vented, it will have lots of ventilation. I'm going to put a ventilation flue into the actual bucket that houses the faeces so it draws all of the moisture out and all of the smells as well and I think it's going to work really nicely. I've done a lot of research on it and I'm quite excited to get to that part. But before I go any further with the toilet, I'm going to finish laying the floor. And what I've done here is I've just laid out the scrap pieces of wood that are the ends that I've chopped off from the flooring just to see how many planks I'm probably going to need. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to do a really long thin one at this edge, but that's not the end of the world. That is it guys, the floor is now in. I've left a little gap for expansion just in case and I'm going to trim it off on the edges. Uh, over here will be fine because that will be covered by the pallet wood that I'm going to clad this with, but on the other edges you'll be able to see it will be visible. So I'm going to go to the horse box and see if I brought any edging over from the van build. Time to look inside the horse box. It's still a mess, I haven't sorted it out yet. There's a load of cladding I can see down there. Actually, I brought over some copper pipe that I completely forgot about. Maybe I can use that as like a curtain rail for the uh, for the shower. That would look really cool because I can't get copper pipe over here in Portugal. Okay, so this looks the ticket. This is it. See, I knew I had something. It's just been left here. I knew I'd need it eventually. But yeah, that's good stuff actually. That'll be really nice trimming. So the next step, now the floor is down and looking marvellous, is to put this treated OSB as cladding for the toilet. But then I'm going to clad over that with pallet wood. Good morning guys. So it's a brand new day. It is in fact the morning. I ran out of light yesterday. I've had a shave. I'm feeling fresh and I'm ready to smash today and get a lot done. So the reason I didn't get as much as I wanted to get done yesterday is because we went to the wood yard and picked up this right here. This is a load of cladding. We got a few extra pieces as well, but I got this stuff at a really reasonable price. So I thought I'll bite his arm off, grab it, and I'll show you what I'm going to use this for later on in the video. We also picked up 10 sheets of this corrugated iron from the scrapyard. We went to a specialist roofing place and they quoted us 27 euros a sheet. So we thought, you know what, that's very steep. We will go down to the scrapyard and see what we can get. If you're wondering the size, it's a meter or just under 90 centimeters by two meters long. And we knew we could get a better deal on this stuff and we needed quite a lot of it and it was gonna be very expensive. So we just had to kind of say, we're either not going to use corrugated iron for our shower or we're going to find it cheaper. And we managed to find it cheaper for six euros a sheet. So that's absolutely amazing. And that's made us very happy indeed. And all I've done so far is cut on the mitre saw these strips of pallet wood. 
These are going to be the cladding for the toilet. This is just one side. I'm going to offer these up, probably screw them down, and then I can measure the next longer lengths that I need to cut. So I've just finished the front and the side cladding for the toilet and it looks amazing. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. The edges are a bit rough because it's pallet wood and it's a bit wonky and all over the place, however straight you try and cut it. But I did choose some really nice pieces to go on the front. It looks like a real feature now. And what I've done is I've created an L bracket type thing to edge off the sides so it looks a lot neater. And yeah, it looks like a uh, old wooden chest. So remember earlier on in the video, I said the massive planks of wood that we got a good deal on at the wood yard. And I was gonna tell you what they were for. And I've decided to use them for cladding this back wall. And one of the reasons for that is it's gonna look really nice and this area will all look really finished, which is really nice. I'm not gonna bother cladding any of the other walls. There's no need. But here, it will just feel really nice, a nice environment to do your business and with a beautiful view. It's a bit snug. Is it a perfect fit? So I've got a bit of pain on my face. I've been paying the caravan, but I've come to help Theo the wall looks amazing, I absolutely love it and now I'm going to help him with creating the cover for the toilet. So we've got these three pieces of wood that are off cuts from the wall that we're going to connect together to create the toilet, top of the toilet basically and then obviously we'll cut a hole there for the toilet seat to go on but now we need to connect them all together. Oh they're lovely, I love the grain, really nice. <laughs> So we've used two off cuts of wood to connect the beams together and Theo's just drilling them in. They have to be a certain distance inside the toilet frame because of the beams that are supporting the toilet. Nice and rustic. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> and so on the back here we've got that other piece of wood that I brought and we're going to have a nice hinge so it flaps up and we can get to the toilet underneath when we need to empty the composting toilet. So we've decided where the toilet seat is going to go purely by eye. We've decided <laughs> that looks good, it feels good to sit on there. We've lifted it up so we can see where the beams are and everything works out and it's very comfortable to sit on it so uh, should we get cutting? Yes. So I've just got back from the city where I went to the DIY store to find some hinges so I can lift up the composting toilet area so obviously I can get to it. And the hinges I found that I really liked, they turned out to be 24 euros for two hinges so there's no way I'm gonna spend that. So for a couple of euros, I picked up some non-black hinges and a cheap can of spray paint. I'm just gonna make my own. So these are the hinges that I picked up. I got two of them and they look quite nice actually. They're not as nice as the ones that were 24 euros, but there's no way that I'm spending that money. So here's the paint I'm gonna spray it with. Matte black, this should do the job and they will look very nice indeed. Both of them are now sprayed on one side. I need to wait for it to dry and then I'll flip it over and spray the rest, but they look really good. It's amazing what you can do with a can of cheap spray paint and some cheaper hinges. So the jacket's come off, things have got serious and it's time to sand the toilet seat area so we don't get any splinters because no one needs splinters when they're going to the toilet. It should be a peaceful process.
So I'm trying to reuse stuff and I've got this left over from the van build. We didn't use it at all. So we brought it over from England and it's just been sitting there. So even though it might not be the perfect color or the perfect stain, I'm sure it'll look fine. And I'm gonna use this and see what that looks like. I'll probably just do a quick tester on the same material before I go all out on the toilet. But I think a walnut would look really nice with the pallet wood. I don't know how easy that is to see on camera, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's bringing out all of the grain and it really is come out like a walnut color. It's beautiful. So there we go. I'm going to carry on. I didn't bother doing a tester piece because I thought that's the only stain I've got. Only thing I can use. It's going to look how it's going to look, but it looks absolutely brilliant. So the toilet is nearly finished. So I've just installed the top and the toilet seat and it looks incredible. I love how the walnut stains come out. Nice and dark. Goes nicely with the pallet wood. And look how nice the hinges turned out. I used like gold screws. And they look really nice. Lovely details. Very happy with this indeed. Guys, I'm feeling pretty smug right now. I'm very near the end of the compost toilet build and it means that we get to use it tomorrow <laughs> which is great news because it's just going to be a lot more comfortable on the land now having a proper place to go to the toilet always helps so let me show you what I've been working on so please excuse the mess but here inside the cabin the toilet looks completely finished well it is finished from the inside and I'm really happy with how it's turned out it looks amazing. Everything's working, so this lifts up, this lifts up, and you might be able to see just down there, there is a tube that goes all the way to the outside, and all that is is a bit of piping uh, that you'd use for guttering. So here we are at the back of the cabin, and as you can see, it's nice and neat. I've used a hole saw, the correct size, so there's no uh, gaps, nothing can crawl in there and it would just be more efficient. And then I've got a U-bend that's going to go there and make the pipe go vertical all the way up the back of the cabin. So I might have explained this earlier but what the piping is going to help with is basically drying the faeces out and generally just venting that area so one, it won't smell as much. It shouldn't smell at all, really. And two, as I said, it will dry it all out, which is really good when you're making compost. You want you want that process to happen as quickly as possible. So there it is, guys, all done, all installed. I made these nice little wooden brackets and they're very strong. I've got one here and then one up here as well and this thing is not going anywhere. So it's very secure if it gets windy at all. So the only thing I need to do now is put the mesh on so no creepy crawlers can crawl into the pipes and into the toilet, but I don't actually have any mesh. Also, I'm gonna add a tiny little vent next to the other vent just to vent the whole area. And then that's it, it's done. That's the end of this compost toilet video, but I think it's worked out really well and I'll make sure I update you on a future video on how it's all working and if it's working. I have no doubt that it's going to work and it, it should be brilliant. It'll make our life on the land a lot more comfortable. Cheers for joining guys and see you on the next video. Head over to theindieproducts.com forward slash shop and check out our new merchandise. Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.